For example, to start with the quadratic equation, say for example, I take x square plus 4x minus 4 equal to 0. This is clearly a quadratic equation, but the factorization method may not be helpful out here. Say for example, I just multiply with the factorization method with 1 and 4, I get 4 to be the value for which the possible factors need to be identified. So let me use the possible factors 2 times of 2 which gives 4 and therefore the factorization is possible by taking 2 plus 2 which stands for coefficient of x which is 4. So let's try to use the factorization method in splitting the middle term according to the factors of 4. So this can be further simplified to be split with the middle term 4x which can be written as 2x plus 2x minus 4 equal to 0. So with all the possible factors identified here this seems to work well but the factorization method doesn't is not a success out here. The reason being that if I have the rule says I need to have the even number of plus signs and even number of odd minus signs in the entire quadratic equation after splitting the middle term. But when I see the plus signs 1, 2, 3, 3 plus signs and 1 minus sign is an odd case out there. So there are 3 plus signs and 1 minus sign in case of this quadratic equation. Therefore, factorization is not possible. Factorization method fails. So in case of such quadratic equations, factorization method may not be a suitable choice. Therefore, for those kind of equations, we try to modify a more different method called the complete square method. A complete square method can be applied for such quadratic equations. And hence, let's see how the complete square method can be used in solving of a given quadratic equation. Now, before we start with the complete square method, there are many steps which we need to follow in for finding out the solutions using the complete square method. So let's take an example problem and examine each of the steps on how the different steps need to be proceeded in finally solving to find the solutions of the given quadratic equation, the complete square method. So initially, let me take a quadratic equation, say for example, 5x square minus 6x minus 2 equal to 0. As I clearly identify here that my coefficient of x squared is 5, coefficient of x is minus 6 and the constant term is minus 2. Now this I would like to solve using the complete square method. And hence what I would do is the first step is I divide the whole equation by 5. The entire quadratic equation is divided by 5. The reason being that the step 1 says that I always need to make the coefficient of x squared to be 1. Divide by 5 to make the coefficient of x squared equal to 1, always. So any problem given out there, the first step or the first destination is to make the coefficient of x squared equal to 1. Therefore, because I have the coefficient of x squared is 5, I can make that equal to 1 until and unless I divide with 5, I don't get the coefficient of x squared equal to 1. Therefore, immediately I divide by 5, simply to make the coefficient of x squared equal to 1, the rule 1. This says the rule 1. So let's divide and see what finally I get. Equal to 0 by 5 then this reduces to x squared minus 6 over 5 of x minus 2 over 5 equal to 0 is what I get. And now my destination of reaching the coefficient of x squared equal to 1 is finally reached out here. Now with this coefficient of x squared being 1, let's try to see how I can make this a complete square. As the method itself says complete square, my 
destination out here is to make this in the form of a square. Therefore, let's see how I can convert this into a perfect square or a complete square method is what it is about. So when I clearly see this, this is in the form of a square and I can convert the formula a minus b whole square as a square minus 2ab plus b square. Therefore, in order to get a minus b whole square, I need to just see that this reduces to the form a square minus 2ab plus b square is the, the target out there. So therefore, I have a square minus 6. I can write as 2 times of 3 by 5 into x minus 2 by 5 equal to 0. So the reason why I split this 6 into 2 times of 3 is because I want to reduce this into the form a square minus 2ab and b square is the term missing out there. Therefore, this being b, I add and subtract the b square term, term so that I get a complete square. So let's see how we can do that. So a square minus 2ab written in order and b square is not available here. So equally I add this b square term and subtract the b square term equally so that the whole equation doesn't get disturbed. So adding and subtracting the b square term is strictly because I want to reduce this into a perfect square where the formula says a square minus 2ab plus b square is a minus b whole square. We all know that formula. So if this is reduced to the form a minus b whole square minus this can be simplified with 9 by 25 because 3 square is 9 by 5 square is 25 minus 2 over 5 equals 0 is how we obtain the perfect square. So now this is where the perfect square is obtained. Now, next step is about taking LCM and finally simplifying for the X and Y, for X, the value of X. So, let's see how we can continue further from here by taking LCM.